Any form is highly illegal. Counselor Del Grand is an accountant. Uh, while I don't have my CA, I too spent a number of years in accounting in the bank. In our day, kiting was quite a, a, a frequent illegal practice. It was a, a, something you struggled with constantly, people kiting checks from bank to bank to deceive financial institutions as to your net worth. Councillor Del Grand has a budget that is actually pretty sound at this point. We've built so many brand new assets in the city using the stimulus funds from other governments that if you look at our financial statements, we're actually worth a quarter of a billion more in assets than we were a decade ago. We're in good shape. There are a few small changes the councillors are right now collaborating on making minor adjustments to the budget for our constituents, for Torontonians, and for a better city. And Councillor Del Grand is trying to characterize it as being in some way illegal. So who is he accusing you of kiting? I mean, what was who's doing the kiting with my or, or Well one of the councillors, and I, I don't want to bring her into this unless she wants to come into it, was asking questions about an increased surplus. Did that not reduce the cost of interest? And did that not open up, as it does by my math, in the neighborhood of seven to nine million dollars in the operating budget? And suddenly, Councillor Del Grand is suggesting and even asking those questions, is suggesting we engage in hiding, actually deceiving financial institutions as to our net worth. The thing is, there isn't a real budget crisis. Our net worth has actually increased by a quarter of a billion in the last two years because of all of the assets we've built. Look at our financial statements at the same time you look at our budget. We're actually not doing that badly. Efficiencies are good, no one denies that. But our constituents have a few things in the budget they want us to make minor adjustments on. And, and here we are this week collaborating as councillors on which ones they are how, how far down can we hone our little list of things we have to adjust? And Councillor Del Grand thinks that he's got to win some sort of war by characterizing us, even asking questions about it, as illegal. How, how would it That's be That's not necessary. How did it work? It wouldn't be, and it offends me, because he's throwing out words that should you report them in, in printed media, sends a message out to the financial service sector, the strongest business sector, the thing that keeps this city afloat, that there's something illegal going on. To any banker in this city, the word kiting is illegal in any book. And it was a, 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 direct, a direct attempt to inflame what is a reasoned discussion about the final short strokes of a budget that is by and large not bad. Councillor, uh, you asked for the budget chief to retract the word he didn't. Uh, where does it say you're going to go to the integrity commission? Well, no, I'm not going to yeah, go to the yeah. integrity commission. I have a, my own personal feeling on, on, on the uh, accountability offices is I do my best to inform the citizens that, that they should use those offices most. It shouldn't mostly be councillors tattling on each other. But it is highly inappropriate to throw words like that around. I know what Torontonians do want of us. I do, do know what sends them to accountability offices. Is seeing us taking shots like that at each other again and again and again. It's not necessary. We're actually not doing that badly here. We don't need to engage in this, in this adversarial rhetoric again and again. This city is in so much... Uh, 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 so much positive net worth gain right now. A quarter of a billion more worth based on the assets we've built over the last decade. That we can afford to have reasoned discussions about how to make a better city. Can I say what something I'm to do? The casino consultation is a number of people reports, pictures, video, so a group of councillors seemingly hijacking the public consultation was open to the citizens of the city. Do you support what they did? I saw the pictures as well. And just so that you know, I, I'm, I, I've got enough outrage to spread around here. Our Torontonian citizens are telling us that we do need to behave better towards each other. And so um, raising an objection to a survey that asks every question about casinos except the yes or no question, that, that, that's, that's something to raise at the meeting. I draw the line at jumping up on the chair. What do you say? So and I'm, I'm saying that about a councillor who, who, as you know, I, I work closely with. One, one would call it an alignment, which is not the case with Councillor Del Grand. We all, 
need to behave a little better, and we can because the city's in good shape. We've just got to keep going. So, so they went too far last night? I think they did. I don't think jumping up on chairs was particularly helpful. Should those councillors apologize to the staff and the citizens who came for... Well, the citizens were quite happy about it, but what, I think they do owe an apology to staff. Staff what, are doing what, 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 their what best. For all due respect, that didn't agree with those councillors, regular people who maybe came down and, and, and didn't have an opinion on the casino. Well, it's funny you're asking me if you were to ask the regular people that came I, down. I was there last night. Uh, what I read in one uh, uh, media outlet was that that the folks that came down that did not agree with it were 12, and they were members of the carpenters union. That's that's what I heard. I was not there. Councillor, can I ask yeah. you what you think about Chris Spencer rising? It's very unfortunate, and uh, uh, I've already said this this morning. I, I you know, uh, I, I know his work. My concern is um, he has a very out there, uh, motivational Tony Robbins almost style of of leadership, and the credibility to continue to exercise that style is just gone. So, so should he be fired? Should he be fired? Well, I think it's re regrettable that, that rather than step down, he's, he's, he's asking the trustees to fight about it. Uh, really, the best thing to do would have been to step down because the style he uses, you know, loading all the teachers into a football stadium and giving a speech on let's teach one for the Gipper, I, like that's not going to work for him anymore. Really, it would have been best for him to step down. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.